Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Okay, it's here. So yeah. I just want to start the day with a challenge for you. Oh, because you're challenge. an amazing singer. Mm. And you can sing on the fly. I've seen it. Huh? So I want to challenge mm. you to sing a song mm. in Filipino. Wow. So it's called... This is quite the challenge. <laughs> Nandito ako, Nandito which means... Ako. I'm here. Yes. Um, in love with you. Umi ibig. Um, umi ibig sayo. Just be clear. What, am I? What, am I professing my love to you? Professing your love to Miss Deb. <laughs> uh, to Miss Deb. That's gonna go down better at home. <laughs> kahit na nagdurugo ang puso. Kahit na, nagdu kahit na nagdurugo. Kahit na nagdurugo ang, ang puso, puso, which means even though my heart bleeds. It's very oh, melodramatic, but very hey. Very melodramatic. I know. Filipinos are like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> and what's the tune? So, um, excuse my voice, please. Um, <clears throat> Nandito ako, nandito ako, umiibig sa'yo, umiibig sa'yo, kahit na, kahit na, nagdurugo ang puso. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank nandurugo you. Nandurugo ang puso. Yay! There you go. <laughs> See, thank you. I knew it. You I will never forget it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Hugh, this movie is about acceptance, and I love it because yeah. everybody wants to be accepted. Yeah. But was there ever a time in your life that you felt, why don't they like me? Why am I not accepted? I remember when I first began acting, I went to a, a, a drama school here in, in the city, in Sydney, the Actors Centre, where I first began to learn. And, you know, I was aware, and I'm not just being self-deprecating, the first three months, I was just not cutting it. Like, mm. I just... I didn't really know anything about acting. Mm. I'd been in amateur productions, and mm. I really felt like, I remember one of the teachers would roll his eyes every time, and the more I tried, the worse it got. And finally, the turning point was, uh, we had to do some assignment where we had to be animals, mm. right? And I was mm. a meerkat, and I put a swimming cap on my head, mm. and I just remember doing it and not caring about what anyone thought, because clearly caring didn't make any difference. Mm. And uh, then that was the first time the teacher said, that's it, and mm. I was like, oh, I get it. So you just got to do what's right inside. But I remember those first three months, it was tough. I felt lonely in that time. One of the things also in this film is bullying because the mm. odd, the freaks mm. were being bullied. Oh, were yeah. you ever bullied as a child? You know, I'm from a large family. So mm. you don't grow up the youngest in a large family without some bullying going on. <laughs> I think it's also termed character building. Mm -hmm. if, if you ask other people in my family, but everything. No, not really, not really. But I. I it breaks my heart, that stuff, you know, for other people, and obviously I'm a parent, but regardless, I think kids who are scared, when I see movies like Moonlight or whatever, it, I find it very difficult to watch. Your kids, or your daughter, is mm. a fan of Zendaya. So you said Huge that you fan. didn't know Zendaya before this. I don't know. Has your popularity with your daughter gone up like 100%? Exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> Unless Zendaya is around. Oh. And then it's like, hey, Dan, and she's arm in arm with me, and I'm like, oh, okay. So, yeah, it doesn't change forever. Mm -hmm. I think, although, I went home and she overheard me talking about Zendaya. I said, oh, you know, we're interested in this book on Zendaya. I don't know who she is. Everyone's raving about her. And I hear from the other room, you don't know who Zendaya is? And my daughter just said, she's the greatest. And I'm so thrilled my daughter looks up to her. That's so mil millions and millions of young girls look up to her mm -hmm. because she is one of the most impressive people I have ever met. One of the smartest, down to earth, talented, mm -hmm. genuine, generous. Mm -hmm. She's an extraordinary young lady. So I, I'm thrilled Ava looks up to her. Yeah. Here's my tip. Zendaya will be the biggest star on the planet, if she wants to be. If she can do honestly what any, whatever she wants. I'm not scared. Who's that? And what is your act? I don't have an act. Everyone's got an act. So I follow you on Instagram, and you said, sorry, not sorry, about your nose. Can you tell the Filipino viewers about what happened? You actually bled for this movie. <laughs> he bled for the movie. It's show, so showbiz. Talk about melodramatic. <laughs> we, were, we were having our final mm -hmm. uh, presentation. Basically, will we get the movie made or not? Mm -hmm. To 60 people, mm -hmm. all very important, money mm -hmm. people, studio heads, creatives. And uh, the day before I had a skin cancer cut out, obviously that wasn't scheduled, I mm. just had to get it cut mm. out. And my doctor said, you, you can't sing tomorrow. I said, oh no, you don't understand, I've got to sing. He goes, no, you can't sing. Mm. So I told the director, I announced to everyone I couldn't sing, someone else was singing the songs, but when it came to the very last song, I said, I'll just sing the first two or three lines, it was very soft. And then this music just got me and I couldn't help myself and I sang and bled, had to get a, st a stitch redone in my nose. Uh, but worth it. 
I saw the show you. must go on, right? That's true. You are the greatest showman after all. <laughs> well, and I, I can pretend to be. <laughs> and I saw the people, they were singing with such feelings. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, I wish I could sing there too. But, you know, I think everyone <laughs> You can to sing. sing. Oh, thank you so much. You know the saying, if you can talk, you can sing. If you can walk, you can dance. Hmm. I wish I could ask you to help me or teach me how to dance, but I don't think I have the time. But thank you so much, Hugh. My pleasure. The world was ashamed of us. It's the fifth thing you ever need. But you put us in the spotlight. You gave us a real family. Have you no shame? Father, the world is changing. It's the fifth thing you ever need. Never made a difference by being like everyone else.